Tropical development possible in the Atlantic this week. It's certainly something I'm watching from the Storm Center. I'm Jeff Hoffman. It's no surprise the middle of August is typically when we see a, an increase in activity and the peak of the season, of course, is in early September. What we have now is a wave that's unlikely to develop through midweek, but as it encounters a slightly more favorable environment, there's a medium chance after Tuesday for development as it moves through the central Atlantic and especially as it gets closer uh, to the western Atlantic uh, by the end of the week. All right, we're talking about a wave that on satellite, if you were just to look at it, you think it's impressive because there's all these thunderstorms, but the thunderstorms are nowhere close to the actual center of circulation. So it's it's certainly not organized uh, right now, but it is something that we're watching and we are now generating forecast models on it and they're kind of split here. What we have is uh, the models that more aligned with climatology are on the north side. The models that are more related to what actually is happening in the atmosphere right now are on the south side. Those are the weaker uh, systems that typically drift a little further to the south. And I think that's the path that's more likely to take with those GFS lines closer to the Leeward Islands as we move to Friday and Saturday of the upcoming week and the weekend. Lots of dry air ahead of this area of investigation, but it's certainly carrying its own moisture. As you see here on Future Track, plenty of moisture for it to work with and it's starting to show maybe a closed center of circulation by Thursday or Friday. Also notice the absence of wind shear. So there's certainly ground ahead of it that's favorable for strengthening or developing, but I think it's going to be gradual to occur over the coming days. So what you need to know right now, it's disorganized. Development is likely later in the week. All right, the chances go up, and there's still plenty of time to watch. And, of course, we certainly will. Stay tuned.